Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. So I was telling y'all on the podcast, Brit says, if you don't know what Brit says, because I'm quite sure a lot of y'all are going to run into this video due to the title. If you don't know what Brit says is, you could definitely go check the link down below. It is my podcast and it's popping. We talk about everyday topics. Definitely go check that out. But if you are a podcast listener, I kept telling y'all on the last episode that I'm going to be doing a lot of different things because I got a lot of time on my hands. So this is one of the things I haven't come up with a name yet for it, but basically I'm just going to be jumping into like topics about what's going on in the real world. Like maybe it could be celebrity gossip. It could be some crazy video that came out, something shocking. I'm going to talk about it. It's going to be quick. It's going to be fast. It's going to be boom, 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 boom. So first thing I'm going to jump into is Takashi 6 and him coming out of jail, him coming out with his music video, and just breaking the internet. And this is this on Takashi. I already know I'm not in the streets, but I understand the street code, and I'm not even in the streets. <laughs> okay, so Takashi came back and he said a lot of these people wasn't loyal to him. These people kidnapped, kidnapped him. They robbed his mother they slept with his baby moms and this is why he snitched on them he you know got these people that was bullying him in jail right so a lot of people support that ideology like shit if somebody would have asked me i would have snitched but see in the streets in the streets there's a street code right so if you want to be a part of the hood life, like a, a hood person, a thug, a gangster, honey, and somebody kill their mother, they're not thinking to call 911. They not. I know to y'all they like what you like, huh? Somebody kill my mother? I'm not gonna call 911. Their first reaction is not like I want justice. I want him in jail till he dies. A thug, a gangster. His first reaction is I'm going to kill this man. That's their their first reaction, and that's kind of like what they wanted Takashi to do. Takashi had a lot of, it seems like he had a lot of people in his circle that was that if he even even so much as moved the wrong way, he was gonna go to fucking jail. I mean, not go to jail. He was gonna die. Like if it, it, I mean it would have been um iconic if Takashi Six Nine would have freaking shot up everybody that was bullying him. But I mean, I feel like for him it was unrealistic. I feel like he was never somebody who really was hood. He was never street. Um He probably had a little hood flair because he grew up in the hood, but he was never really he was never really about that life. He ain't had no heart. Like they say in LA, right? Um And you know that's fine and, and this is my thing. This is why Sakashi blew up because there's a small, y'all gotta remember, gang members and street people, there's a small, they're like a minority. There's probably, they probably take up like 3% of the population, if that. Like, it's not a lot of, it's more regular day citizens, average citizens, than there are street people. There's way more of us. So, when we hear what Takashi went through, if you're a regular day citizen, we're going to be sympathetic. And this is why Takashi is where he's at. A lot of people don't understand street code. A lot of people don't give a fuck about gang stuff. A lot of his listeners are white kids. They don't even know what we're talking about. They don't even know. They're learning what a rat is. Like, what is a rat? He snitched. And then, but the, even if they hear that Takashi snitched, they're going to listen to Takashi first. And when Takashi said they, they, they freaking kidnapped me and robbed my moms and shit. They're like, oh, we still fuck with Takashi because they violated him. They wasn't loyal to him. They don't know what a street code is. A lot of these regular days, people that listen to music, that listen to Takashi, we don't, we not thinking about none of that. So I think that's one of the reasons why he blew up after. And I also think it's, um, what's that word? Shock, right? Because I wanted to watch him on live at 3 p.m. I happened to take a nap and I fell asleep, so I missed it. But even I was going to watch, and I don't even, like, I, I like Takashi, but I'm not, like, like, I wouldn't, had this not happened, I wouldn't be on his live. Let's just put it that way. So, yes, he got 2 million viewers because a lot of people just was watching to be nosy. Like, a lot of people was just peeking to see what he was going to say, what was he going to do, was he going to talk about it. Um, My issue with this all is that 
I feel like Takashi is not being humble enough. Like, I feel like he's still being like, yeah, I snitch. Like, and so he's like, ah, yeah, man, big man, hey, hey. Like, he's, he's putting the rat, like, it's not funny. Like, you need to humble yourself. Like, real talk, like, you need to calm down. Because this is what got you in this mess. That's my issue. Like, I felt like, and that's what I thought he was going to do. I thought when he came back, he was going to, like, make, like, a real sympathetic rap song. And he was going to talk about his his story and everything he went through. And this motherfucker going to come back talking about he chopping up people at the chicken spot. Like, and, and put a big rat emoji on his face. Like, it's not funny. Like, granted... A lot of us not about the street life. It's not even about that. It's about he could have made an example, a story. Like he could have been like, "Look, I was a young kid. You know, he Takashi's been through some shit. You know, he's he's he. I remember in his Breakfast Club interview, he talked about that. Um, he could have said, I, didn't, "I I lost my father. Um, I ran the streets. I thought the street life was for me." It really wasn't. I was very scared to do a lot of things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have handled it, handled it so much differently. And he didn't. Like, I feel like he could have just been like, I'm not. I guess if he said he wasn't street, it would ruin his persona. Would it, though? I don't know. But I feel like he could have at least been like, like, he could have kept it a real. Like, maybe he could have been like, like, these people was sunning me, bullying me, and I couldn't handle it. I'm not going to lie. You know, in my street, so y'all, I'm not, I have done some shit though, that is street, you know, so I'm still correlate with hood life. I don't know, but like, to me, the way he's handling it is not right at all. Like, it's wild and mature. He needs a rebranding, a re-strategy, I don't know. And, I don't know. I do feel though, um street life i do feel like a lot of these celebrities is coming for him for snitching but a lot of them would have did the same thing he would have did and i'm gonna tell you why because i feel like with takashi when he was where he was at before all this shit popped off he was big like he had money he had probably a house and cars and he could take care of his family just imagine you being like a scrummy scruffy dude and then you just boom blow up right he had a lot to lose. So he snitched. And I think a lot of them celebrities, Mika, all of them that's talking, yada, yada, yada. I think that if, if they was put in the same position, they would snitch. I don't care. They probably would do it more strategically. I do. I really believe that. I stand by that statement. Um, A lot of the people who live by the street code who wouldn't snitch, they don't have much to lose. Like, a lot of them still only got what? They don't have bank accounts. They don't have money. They street is their home, their life. Like, Takashi's life wasn't the streets. His life was being a celebrity. Period. No matter how you flip it, fire, die. Even if he was around gang members, his genuine life was being a celebrity. And I think that's why he did that. I think a lot of these celebrities, if they was in his shoes, they would have did the same thing. I don't care what none of y'all say. Now, a hood dude would never do what Takashi did. Because they don't got that much on the line like Takashi did. He had a lot on the line to lose. Um, so, I feel like a lot of these celebrities is doing a lot of this. But they would have been doing a lot of that if they was in his place. That's just my opinion. Um, I pray for Takashi. I know that he's acting like a troll, but he's still a young kid. He's very flawed. He's been through a lot. And, I mean, I, I really... I don't want to be with those people. I hope nothing happens to him. I, I put that on my life. Like, I, I be, I pray a lot. I be praying for that boy. Like, when he be doing his nonsense, I be like, please, God, just help him, please. And he's, like, having to switch homes because people is filming him. Like, he can't, he's living on the edge right now. Like, that shit is not cute. That's why I wish he would just take a different route. He's a young kid, and I don't know. I just, I, I really do hope the best for him. Some of y'all like, fuck him. And like, me, I'm not like that. I really do really 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 hope the best for him and i hope that he um he he comes through this you know i don't know which way he gonna do it even if he gotta live a regular life i i hope he does but that's the tea on that boo boo that's the spill on my sakashi 69 take and see you guys later